Hey, Floss Tube, Sean here. Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> I made uh, my first three Floss Tube videos and then I kind of disappeared, so sorry about that. Uh, <coughs> I just got, in March and April, I just got uh, really busy. Uh, the show I was producing, uh, well, in March, the show I was directing went up. So I ended up, I don't know if I talk, ended up talking about this in my last Floss Tube video or not. Uh, I ended up having to take over sound for for that because the, it wasn't getting done. So I ended up needing to take over putting together the sound and running the sound, and ended up uh, in the booth for three weeks for three weekends uh, doing sound for that. And then uh, I was producing the next show, The Fantastics, which I have the <laughs> but. Uh, and then that just got busier than I expected. And uh, then we went up with that in May, early May, actually first weekend in May. And then I also got sick in May. And I'm actually still, uh, <coughs> excuse me, recovering from it. Um, had a really bad cold, horrible cough. The cough is almost completely gone but then I was coughing so hard that I kind of hurt myself in the chest and ribs and uh, I've still been recovering from that too so May was not a great month for me I didn't get a ton of stitching or reading done uh, during that period <clears throat> but um and I've learned something here. Don't eat mac and cheese right before you're about to film because it makes you very phlegmy and uh, <laughs> hard to hard to talk. Um, you'd think as an actor I would know that. Uh, anyway, um, so since it's been uh, over th almost three months since my last floss tube video, <clears throat> almost three months since my last book tube video too. Um, and this month is my two-year anniversary uh, since my first booktube video. So what I thought I would do, uh, this is going to be kind of a long one. I have a lot to show you. I have, <laughs> I kind of went on a starting spree uh, first part of this year, past few months. Um, <clears throat> not during Mania. I didn't end up being able to participate in Mania because I was sick, um, <coughs> so I didn't, uh, the starts I was going to do in Mania, I'm going to be doing, uh, throughout the next month or so, um, so what I figured I would do is, uh, just kind of a whip parade and show you what I've started, where I'm at with other things you've seen, and, uh, yeah, kind of get back into the groove of doing this maybe share and uh, you know share some of my uh goals for uh for the month too um and then i have to decide how often i want to do update videos uh maybe you guys can help me with that what uh what kind of what <clears throat> do you like more monthly update videos or do you like to see uh more weekly or bi-weekly progress uh, I I never like to promise weekly because I just know me but um, yeah so let's get into it and uh, the first thing I'm going to show because I just took it off the Q-Snap to show um, and it's going to go right back on the Q-Snap after this because I'm currently this is what I'm kind of currently working on but it is my The Outer Frontier uh, last time you guys saw this I think I was just getting into the top of the towers here. And actually, now that I hold it up and see it on the camera, it looks really cool right now. When I'm working on it, it's just like blue. <laughs> Shades of blue. And uh, now that I hold it up, I really see it uh, kind of coming together there. Um, let's try and reduce this light a little bit. Okay. So, I have, uh, I'm working... On a page down here, uh, where the towers are, I'm kind of, it's kind of weird because this, these, this kind of ends up uh, going working in col columns, uh, and then this side 
kind of feels more right to work side to side. I know uh, last time I was filming a video, I was starting to convert to uh, stitching on a diagonal. I've, I've since abandoned that, and I'm just kind of letting each chart or each page of the chart kind of tell me how it needs to be stitched. Because like I said, this this uh, the way these colors go down on these columns here doesn't make any sense to me to stitch left to right or diagonal. It makes sense to just follow follow what it wants to do. And then right over in this area, it makes more sense to go left to right because this is just going to be sky and clouds. And then I also was working on page two up here. Um, and that's what I've gotten done up there. And then I decided I wanted to go back down and work on the tower some. So one of my goals this month is to finish both of these pages I have in progress. Then I gotta decide if I wanna continue down, go over, or if I wanna start filling in because I thought maybe I might try and work pages in diagonals and see the whole picture come together. I'm playing with a bunch of stuff in my head for different pieces. Uh, I even thought uh, I might do a piece like checkerboard pages. I don't know, I'm just having fun with it and uh, going where the mood takes me. But that is the outer frontier. Um, so I'm gonna be starting to open and close a lot of bags because I keep everything in large Ziploc bags. And I have started quite a bit since I last talked to you. Um, it's kind of ridiculous because of the, the big ass projects I work on how many of them I have going. I'm like never going to finish anything. But also, for me, it's not about the finish. I'm not striving for the finish. Yes, I do want to finish the pieces, but it's about the joy of working on the piece and how much I enjoy working on the piece. Because when I finally finish one, I'm gonna, it's going to be kind of, I'm, it's going to be a happy, sad thing. Um, and yeah because i'm gonna be happy i finished it but sad i don't get to work on it anymore so anyway speaking of sad the other one of the other things that happened in may some of you may have seen on my instagram is we lost uh one of our one of our cats uh we lost our black cat uh this month um or in may and it was very very sudden uh we had just taken him to the vet just because he was getting, he had a little runny nose and we just took him to the vet to get him checked out because he was getting old. He was 13 years old and we wanted, we just wanted to get him checked out, you know, to start looking at senior care and stuff. And then we found out that his kidneys were, were failing. And we had to, we had to make the, we had to make the tough choice. So, yeah, not a good May. Um, okay, what do I got? Dark Moonlight Angel. I'm gonna have to say these too, so that I can remember, so that I can put the picture up as I'm editing, because that's as much editing as I do. Is I will put I will put the pictures of what they're supposed to look like up. Um, so Dark Moonlight Angel. I don't think I've gotten much done on this. So I don't know how. I think it was probably just a little triangle here the last time you saw it, and it's just not much more of a triangle um, there. Uh, Obviously, I haven't worked on this since I um, decided to stop working on the diagonal and just let the piece dictate how it was going to be stitched. Uh, so that's Dark Moonlight Angel. That's where I'm at with that. Um, pretty sure I had that one started last time I talked to you. Um, ah, okay, next in line is... Uh, I don't know, I hadn't started this uh, last time I talked to you because I was going through a fabric drama the last time I talked to you. Um, is it even still in here? Yes, it is. Okay, so I was, um, had been waiting and waiting and waiting for fabric that I ordered to come in and I, this is simply meant to be as a, it's a, now a, a sal that I'm doing with, um, um, Daphne at Mama Metzger and uh, Kelly Bell. So, because uh, Kelly's doing the mini, 
Daphne has the super size, not the super size, but just the uh, the max color, and I have the regular chart. Um, so I uh, got tired of waiting for the fabric to come in. Um, and and I get it; it was a, it was a special order. They had they had to order it. Uh, they were the LNS was ordering it through hand dyed by Stephanie, and it just took a while to come in. But I wanted to get started on the sale because the other two were started, and I just I wanted I wanted to get started. So I went to uh, uh, another LNS uh, that is now closed its physical location. They're trying to keep something going online, but they've closed their physical location. Uh, and I got a piece of 28 count linen because this was going to be my first try on 28 count too which i've come to really like uh, <clears throat> i've been buying a lot of the 28 count even weave from hobby lobby and i'm, I'm really liking uh working on that um so i bought this and it ended up being a, a linen and you can see where i tried to start but i did not like this fabric at all like like i can see my window through it like I can I you can't see me very well but I can see cl almost clearly my camera and everything my my computer monitor and everything through it and the needle would just fall right through and it was just pain in the butt for me to stitch on because I've at, at this month actually I've been stitching for a year so I just did not like the fabric at all um so I even I still have it even in my bag because I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. Um, so I just went and I got this and this was my first uh, piece of 28 count even weave from Hobby Lobby. And so this is the progress I have made on Simply Meant to Be. Um, so a lot of the dark here coming in to the clouds here and we're working towards where the moon will be right there the moon that'll have oogie boogie in it um and i went all out on this i like i'm not th i bought an off-brand q-snap at hobby lobby that I, i'm not crazy about and i haven't really taken this off since i uh since i put it on but uh <laughs> i'm uh, my needles are falling off <sighs> okay uh, but I got a, a Nightmare Before Christmas Q snap or Grime Guard. I've got the Simply Meant to Be uh, Needle Minder down there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying working on that one. So there you go, Daphne and uh, Kelly. There's where I'm at with that because I'm horrible at Instagram posting too. <laughs> I'm trying. I want to. I'm gonna try to get better at posting uh, on Instagram for both the book my book world and my floss table world um okay this is a new start just this past weekend not yeah just this past weekend i started this um and a lot of you will probably recognize what this is um not just not by what i've got started but just by by its name because uh stitching jewels uh is has been working on it for a while um and it's uh it's rainy waterloo place and i don't need to put from cross stitch collectibles so there there is the the chart uh what it'll, what it'll look like and i made myself a working copy of it that's why it's all still in the plastic and uh so and that is what i've done on it just this weekend um it stitches up so far really easily um the chart is not my favorite to work with because it's, it's not really symbols it's the alphabet capital letter alphabets and then then after it runs out of alphabets it, it starts going into um like the symbols you see on top of uh like there's a there's there's a like i forget what it's called but like the little thing i'd use for exponents um there's a slash um so it just gets into symbols like that which those are fine but it's it's not the easiest to read with with just um, capital letters all over the place because my brain because I did a, I've done a lot of word searches throughout my life my brain starts looking for words <laughs> um, but yeah that's where that's that's just a couple of days progress on that so and I've really enjoyed 
uh, getting going on it. I think it's I think it's going to stitch up really, really nice and quick uh, for as many you know for it being a full full coverage chart. Um, I'm going to start having trouble keeping track of what I've done and what I haven't. Um, let's see, Enchanted Glimpse. Okay, uh, this is another Hade. Most of these are Hades. Um, and I'll put again. I'll, I'll put a picture up. But this, I'm what I'm good, probably going to do with this one. And this goes this way. This is what I've done on it so far. You know, it's, it's not going to be a huge one. And even though it's not a mini, it's not still not going to be huge in you know comparison to most Hades. Um, but this is all black. Um, and there's a lot of black in this one, as you'll see in the picture, because uh, it's Julie. Uh, the artist is Julie Fain, and she does a lot of uh, silhouette fairy uh, images. Um, they're really beautiful, um, and I wanted to. This is my first one. I'm going to do more of them than this because uh, I really like them. But I wanted to see how I enjoy working on them first. And I actually, I, I'm finding I kind of enjoy just having an evening and just stitching black. You know, it it makes for, I don't have to follow the chart too closely. I can engage with my wife and watch TV and just work on black work. Um, so that's what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to color complete the black first because the black really makes uh, the whole outline of it. Uh, and then some into the middle. So uh, there's, there's one or two pieces I might just col do color completion of black first and um, go from there. Um, uh, this one's on the two snaps, so we'll do this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this one will be really easy. Again, this one is gonna be, at least for a little bit, black work because the entire first page is black. In fact, this is the only floss I even have so far for it. I haven't bought any other floss for it. And I just pulled out of my stash of black because every time I go buy floss, I need black for so much. I just buy four or five skeins of black just with whatever I'm buying so that I get this stash of black built up. Um, will I possibly run into dye lot issues at some point? Maybe. I don't, honestly, I don't know how much I'm worried about dye lot issues unless... DMC does an overhaul of their colors and the dye and you know and 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 they do something that makes a number be a drastically different shade than than what it currently is because you know I I'm a, I'm a member I don't post a lot in on Facebook groups but I I you know I I follow them I I'm a member of you know, the uh, Heaven and Earth Designs, Facebook group, Full Coverage Fanatic, Michigan Cross Stitchers, uh, Stitch Mania, one or two others. Um, but those are the ones that I, I, I look at most. Um, and hear all this talk about, well, buy when if you buy one color, buy all you need of that color so you don't run into a dye lot, ish, dye lot issue. And I don't know how much buying 17 skeins of say 310 or or for dark moonlight angel i need a lot of 550 and i've only purchased a handful of it so far um how much that is going to make that much of a difference one because i i, I do have color issues um i most people you know general consensus of what is called as color blindness but to me and my my eye doctor who originally uh diagnosed it when i was a kid uh Blindness means you don't see it. Um, I see color. I just have trouble distinguishing between certain shades. Um, so he's always, my original eye doctor always called it color deficiency. So that makes more sense to me than color blindness because I see color. I just close shades of stuff like some greens and blues, um, stuff like that. I I can't I, I I can't tell. In fact, we we have a blanket in our house. And if my wife hears me telling this story, she's out in the living room watching a show. She, I, she's going to laugh if she hears me telling this. But we have a blanket on our bed that I call the green blanket and my wife calls the blue blanket. Because obviously it's blue because my wife doesn't have, have color issues. But it looks green to me. 
So that, that's just the kind of thing I'm talking about. So that's one reason I'm not too horribly concerned about dye lot issues because I stitch these for the most part for me. And as long as I can tell, that's, that's what's important. Uh, two, I don't know how you can be certain. Say I buy 17 skeins of 550 in one, in one shot at Hobby Lobby or, or Joann's or something. How can I be certain all 17 of those skeins that I'm buying? Because they restock all the time. You know, they don't, they're not worrying about dye lot when they're restocking. How do I know that those all 17 of those skeins that I'm purchasing out of the bin are from the same dye lot? I don't. So I'm not that concerned with dye lot issues unless I hear that DMC is making a drastic change to their floss and the dyes that they're using. Then I'll start to work. <coughs> then I'll buy up what I need before that happens. But as I'm just collecting floss right now for a project, I'm not too worried about it. Anyway, this is a new start this weekend too. Um, I actually started this because the whole first page is black. Because um, there was going to be a, a get together um, that I didn't end up going to. Uh... And I've never gone to a, uh, a stitchy gathering before, but there was an event and uh, I, one, didn't, one, my social anxiety got the better of me, and two, I just, it had been a long day, traffic had sucked getting home, and I just, I just wanted to go home. Um, but the whole first page is black, so I was, I figured it would be nice and easy uh, at a, at a, at a you know, at a stitchy gathering to just work on black work, especially with one I've never been to one before. And this piece is going to be huge. It's it's like 98 pages. Um, and it's a relatively new haid. Uh, it's called Stolen Harvest. I'll put the picture up. And I absolutely, as soon as it came out, I loved it because it's like kind of the Art of the Antiquities stuff, but with a dragon it's, it's really cool um it's kind of like like Monsieur michelle kind of reminds me a bit of <coughs> michelle bendy stitchy's um contestant with squid that she's working on you know, josephine if you watch if you which most of you probably do watch her so it's kind of that art style but different artist um but that so i just i just kind of got the black started on it just so i had it started before i was going to go and i didn't end up going so, but that is uh, another one of my goals. The other two of my goals, since I've already shown the Simply Meant to Be, I want to finish page one. And um, Stolen Harvest, I want to finish that first page. Of, I'd like to fin do, finish that first page of black. And on Enchanted Glimpse, I'd like to get two pages of the black work done. So that's, uh, yeah, that's those. So I'm kind of doing goals as I go along here. Um... I'm going to try to speed up a little bit because I'm at 23 minutes and uh, I got a lot more to go through. Um, so this is my Delane Moonbathers album cover that I charted up myself. Um, and uh, most, uh, this is all black um, and I've started a little bit, you can kind of see as I move it closer, a little bit of the color and the tans and stuff in inside of the D. And this is one I considered color completing black first, but it's it's very spread out, and I don't want to because I don't grid. I don't want to screw up counting. Uh, so you see me keep going down here. I have a chair of all of them too. Uh, okay, this one's this one's really exciting. Uh, Witchy Stitcher, uh, Etsy Shop, <coughs> uh, released a new sal, and it is a Universal Monster sal, and I'm a big fan of the Universal Monsters. Um, I got, I have, I am making a huge ass mess. Ugh. Um... Over here, I have the entire set of Legacy Collection of the Universal Monsters. Uh, and so it's one room. 
is being released every two weeks. Uh, we've had three room releases, and I believe there's another one tomorrow or today as you're seeing this because I'm hoping to get this up on Friday. But I haven't gotten a lot done on it because I kind of fell behind when I was sick. But this room will be uh, The Phantom of the Opera. Um, a lot of you may have seen this in progress in other places. <coughs> so this room is Phantom of the Opera. Right below this room is has been released uh, The Mummy. And to this side of this room uh, has been released The Creature from the Black Lagoon. And then there's a whole mansion uh, framework to be done that's a lot of black. Um, so I've said I've not... It's one of my goals... This, <clears throat> excuse me, this month too, is to catch up with this. Or at least with what was released up to this point. The three rooms that were released up to this point. Maybe some of the mansion structure. Uh, this is another new start. Uh, mostly because I had the piece of fabric uh, that was the right size to start it. Um, not very far in it. Um, this is, uh, another hay, it's called Fly Away, um, and that's just, uh, if you see the picture up here at the start of the trees up in the corner. Um, and I've really only bought two colors for it so far, uh, that are just, that are most of page one. So, that is everything that's on the floor, I need a sip of water. Okay. What's this? Sunset. Okay, I don't think I'm very much further on this than the last time you saw it. I haven't put much into it. I finally got all the um, all the floss bobbinated because I did I, I did bobbinate all the floss for this one because it's 150 colors. Um, it's a it's a max color. This is Sunset in Venice. Um, and. Yeah, I'm not very far on this. I would like to get some more time into this, but uh, I just have I have other other things that are calling to me this month. I was wondering where all the floss was, and I just said it was all bobbinated in a uh, kind of thing. Okay, so that's everything down there. Oh, that was okay. That was up here. Okay. So this is a start and it's going to be a restart. Um, this is Labyrinthine Spring. This is a story keep. Um, this is a, a, a Hade. And I did start it. I got... Oh, that's... Yeah. I mean, my, my back looks fairly decent on this one, which is rare. Um... So I did start it, and I've actually frogged a little bit already over here, but I'm going to restart this because when I got all the way over here, something was off. And yeah, I could have just put something in or corrected it somehow because it is pretty close shades, but I didn't know where, I don't know where the mess up happened in this row. So I didn't know if just correcting it over here was going to be good enough if I did something wrong, you know, somewhere in the middle here. And I didn't and couldn't, but I, I just couldn't figure out where I made the air. So I bought another piece of fabric and I'm just, and it's just this, is just this 28 count light blue even weave from Hobby Lobby is like six bucks. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to decide I'm just going to start it over. But because I have Labyrinthine Summer too, then and my ideal is going to, I was going to start and work on each because there's a summer, spring, summer, fall, and winter. So I was going to work on each one, start each, start and work on each one during its respective season. And I haven't touched this one since I messed up because I, I kind of got mad at it and then got busy and got sick and started other things. So I, I'm just gonna I'm just, I'm just gonna restart that one and uh, call it a day. 
Uh, what do we got? Audrey. This has been, I mean, I still have people uh, finding my, you know, first couple of floss tube videos and commenting on them, you know, even up to like the last week. And this is the crowd favorite. Um, and unfortunately, I don't always feel like working on this one because it is, you know, a black and white grayscale piece. But this is where I am at with Audrey. Um, I, since you guys last saw it, I got the window, fr the framework of the window and some of the curtains done. So that is where I'm at with that. I thought about taking, I'm thinking about if I go back to it or when I go back to it, taking a break from all this light color here and, uh, coming down the wall a little bit more. I don't know that I'll get to that one this month and videos will get shorter from here on out because uh, I will have finally caught you up with everything and I, will, I, won't have, I won't have to catch you up with everything every time. Uh, this is another new start. Um, I had gotten some uh, bonus money from work and I spent a fair amount of it on cross stitch charts and, <clears throat> and, and supplies. This one is... Uh, Big Red Ship of Life from Ink Circles. Um, I wanted to try uh, a sampler of some sort, and I saw I saw one of Ink Circles on I believe Kelly Bell's channel. It wasn't this one. Uh, it was Sumatra Dragon, and I just loved it. Um, Kim at um, Spartan Stitcher is working on this. She's not doing it in red. Um, she, I forget what color she's doing it in, but she's also working on this. Um, but, uh, I've got just that top bit started. Um, and I was going last, my last video, I talked about how I had joined the cult of magical stitches and literature. I have since left the cult. Um, there were just, one, I'm not a big stitch counter. Um, fan of stitch counting. I am going to do some stitch counting in July because uh, Full Coverage Fanatics is doing a Tour de France uh, event. Uh, we work on one piece and you one stitch for every kilometer uh, that is traveled in the in the Tour de France and they have it broken up in different ways. Um, you can do you can go for different jerseys. Uh, you can go for the yellow jersey which is all all the kilometers or you can follow just uh, the flat kilometers or the, just the hill climbs um but uh i'm gonna do that and that's that'll be some stitch counting but one i wasn't a big fan of counting all the stitches and two it just it, it wasn't for me basically um there was a from what i could see and this is not meant to sound critical uh of it in any way it's just but and, and a lot of people are enjoying it. I just, I didn't. Um, it became so strict in, in how, in, in how things could fit the challenges. And I just, I didn't enjoy that. And it, uh, it, it if it wasn't enjoyable, I didn't want to do it. So I, I pulled out of that. Big red ship of life. Uh, big cats. The last time I talked about this, I was um, unhappy with the fabric that it was on. Again, it was uh, bought that same LNS as that other fabric that uh, that I do that I didn't like. Um, so I purchased another piece of fabric. Uh, I think this one. I think this was from Michaels. Um, that just happened to be the right size. So I got a new start on that. I haven't done much else with it since I started it. I do want to get back to this one soon because I do really enjoy the image. So, um, and I bought all the rest of the floss for it another day. So I'm going to go back to this one soon. Maybe not this month, but soon. Uh, this is another new start. Um... Uh, this is Eclipse from Hade, 
And this one, I decided to try something new. I gotta show it this way, because I decided to start in the bottom left corner where the pages were small. So I've actually got uh, almost two pages finished on this because I started, and I've also, I don't know, I mean, I can't tell when I look at it. Um, I started it in full cross, then I switched to two over one half cross, and I'm actually going to switch back to full cross because I've just discovered I just, I enjoy the full cross. Uh, half cross to me doesn't feel faster to me because one, I spend so much time stitching the needle with the two pieces of thread because my needle threader won't go through with two, with two strands in it. So I spend so much time stitch. I spend the time I would save, I think, threading the needle. So I'm actually going to go back to full cross on this. Um, I'm just, I'm just not a half cross person. Um, and, and that, and, and that's, uh, you know, something I had to try and realize. Uh, big counts I did. That one I have not started. Okay, two, two left. Uh, this is my quick stitch Arthur. And, uh, I don't know, like I said, I don't remember where it was the last time you guys saw it. I have some parked threads here. I'm also, I'm also moving away from parking, I think. Um, I'm just kind of doing a thread until I don't have any stitches left to do in that, with that strand anymore. But I think I was at the top of the ear here. I've got more of the ear completed and we're getting into the crown a little bit there. So that is another one of my goals this month is to finish page one of this. Um, so that's quick stitch Arthur. Last whip. Actually, no, I forgot I left one out there. Um, but I'll, I'll just show it next time. It's a it's my the Super Mario chart I was working on. I've, I've, it, it's nothing exciting. I've just got more blue completed in it or the sky. Um, but I don't feel like going all, all the way back out to the living room to grab it. Oh, I have a, I have a finish too. It's up there. So I I have a finish to show you. Um, so this is It's About Time by Sarah Marchetti, uh, another Hey, This is one I was uh, kindly raked uh, by uh, Cat Williams in the um, Heaven and Earth Designs group. Um, so I, I got a good start on this. I, what I like about this one is it's, it's so busy, no matter what, you're, you're, something's always coming together. So that's what I am enjoying about this one so far. And I do want to get uh, more back to this one but it's <coughs> it's kind of confetti heavy but I'm not always feeling like working on it um so that is all the whips I do have I do have another whip but I'm actually going to frog it out and start something new on the fabric um this is and I can show you the image um I thought I might but I still might but I'm kind of abandoning the idea right now. Uh, do a uh, a piece for a, each show I direct. Um, so this is the image from the 39 Steps. So I made a chart on uh, Pixel Stitch website of that, but I made it huge, and there's a lot of black. And I was again, this was this was a, a half stitch. Uh, trial and so i'm actually going to frog this out and this this is the exact size i need for um inner depth max color uh by chris ortega from heaven and earth so i'm actually going to frog this out and start this chart on that fabric um and if you guys have any tips for frogging um, let, let me know. Uh, I just, I have this small, um, thread ripper that I try and use, but, uh, it's not quick. It, it, it's hard to get under the threads and I'm always risking, feel like I'm risking damaging the fabric 
uh, because I did damage fabric frogging a, a bit on Audrey on the first page uh, when I uh, was early in, in on that. So I'm always afraid I'm going to damage the fabric to the point where I can't I, I, I can't do anything with it and then I gotta buy new fabric and start over. So if you have any good frogging tips, let me know. Um, but that is all the whips I have. I am gonna show you a few charts that I picked up with uh, with my bonus money just because I, I, did, I have more and I've purchased some hades and sales and I'll maybe I'll go through those another time. Um, because I don't remember what I have shown you what I haven't. So so I do have some Hade purchases. Maybe I'll cover those in another video. But these are ones that I, I got physical uh, copies of. So I've already shown you Rain, Rainy Waterloo Place. Uh, for, also from Cross Stitch Collectibles, I have a Clara Bow. Uh, she is, uh, if you don't know, uh, a silent film actress. Um, she was known as the It Girl because she was in a movie called The It Girl. Um, I got a, uh, I have Pin Up with a Newspaper. And I also have Paris Rainy Day. So I'm excited about those. And then I got a couple of clearance Haid charts. Uh, Riverwalk Charm and uh, Mermaid. So, so that's a little bit of uh, of how. Oh, my finish! I need to show you show you my finish because I put it on Instagram, but I haven't made a video since I finished it. And I finished my IT crowd piece. So that's. That's cool. I actually might restitch this sometime um, on a lower count fabric, just so I get better coverage in it. Because when like you get a close, because uh, this is 14 count green Ada, and in spots it looks pretty good, but there are definitely spots where I can see the green through the image, and I I might want to just do it on a higher count fabric, and. Um, have better coverage on it. So anyway, I'm at 42 minutes now, which I realize isn't super long for a uh, floss tube video. But my voice is getting tired too. I thought I might also do a book tube video. I don't think that's going to happen uh, tonight. Uh, so sorry, book tube. I will get some content out to you soon. But I also haven't been reading a ton either. So. Anyway. Um, that's it. Feels good to be back. Uh, I now have to, I gotta put all this shit away now. Um, <laughs> I'm having trouble with storage right now too, because I've started so much and you've seen how I, 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 I store them. So I've been trying to figure out storage here in the house too. Um, anyway, uh, uh, it's been so long I forget how I end these damn videos. Um, thank you to all my subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, thank you for sticking through and uh, my subscriber count has even gone up while I've not been making videos, which is, is amazing to me. Um, you know, not by huge leaps and bounds, but still, uh, I see new subscribers come. I just had a new subscriber come through today and, uh, and that. It, it, it makes you feel good when you when you're not even making videos to still be getting uh, new subscribers. So thank you. Uh, I'm back. Um, we'll be hopefully making videos with much more frequency. Um, and I said, let me know in the comments. Uh, you know what kind of frequency you like to see uh, floss tubers make videos on. Um, I'm not promising anything, but I, I am going to try to at least do bi-monthly updates. Um, anyway, thank you everyone. Uh, because if you're watching this, you've stuck with me and I really appreciate it. Um, and uh, if you like what you've seen, uh, you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button. It's the best way to make sure you see when I post new videos. Um, and I will see you all in the next one.